Thanks for staying with us. Now our next guests have teamed up to launch season two of their interior design podcast, which focuses on how interiors have the power to shape us as individuals. Yes, and here to tell us all about it are TV presenter and producer Lisa Cannon and interior designer Natasha Rocket Divine. Hello, ladies, how are you? Hi. Welcome. Good morning, really thanks good. for joining us. Look at you. Lisa, I'm normally be... there. That's weird. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. How does it feel being on that side of the sofa? I was reading your autocue there and I was like, <laughs> I'm about to pop in. No, I'm only joking. Yeah, that's the first time I've been a guest yeah. on Ireland AM. Yeah. It's something it? to promote. Yeah. Yeah. How's it feel? <laughs> really weird. <laughs> no, it's great. It's, it's great. Grand. You're at home. You're at home. I'm at home. And so, this, this, uh, this podcast, Natasha, I want to go back a bit because, like, although this has been hugely successful for you, but this is something that it was something that happened in your life that spurred you on to just say, yes, I'm going to do more stuff. And this was a car accident you had. Can you take us back to that? Yeah, do we have all day? We've got eight no, minutes. But, and I, but I just, yeah, no, because it, it is, a, it was yeah, a turning point. A massive turning point. Yeah, so I was in a car accident in San Francisco. I did a J1 like most Irish students or a lot of Irish students. And unfortunately, I was in a really bad car accident. I was in a coma. I had a brain hemorrhage. And over about five years, I had to learn how to kind of walk, talk, everything again. Wow. My memory was really bad. And you're at that age where you just don't want to complain. You know, you're like a student. You're just trying to pretend everything was fine. But it was really hard for my mental health yeah. at that time. So I'm really conscious. You know, I've got high empathy for anyone who's struggling. Um, but anyway, on a positive, I it just one day I woke up. I remember my mom and I had a chat and I just said, you know what? She said something that just really hit home. Like, this is your second chance. Like, make the most of it. Mm. And I just went for everything. I said, yes, I did two masters. I like, and I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have done this. I probably would have had a totally different life had I not done this. But I did two masters and I just said yes to life. And I know it sounds very American and very positive and all, but I really took everything kind of day by day. But don't get me wrong. Like, I have bad days and now it's probably yeah. balanced out and I'm back to more normal but I definitely think when people say where do you get your fire I say that's definitely mm. from my accident you know it's, it's amazing I love when people take something so positive mm, from, from an experience yeah. like that you know and you've been very successful in your interior design career from then you've worked with um vice president Al Gore at one point and you're kicking off second season of the podcast now yes. Room to grow. tell us about this Space to grow. Sorry. Fact, space. Firstly, why did you ask her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not you. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Why did you ask Lisa to join so actually, you? Actually, Lisa, you were my first first um, featured guest on um, series one, and we just clicked, didn't we? We had yeah, the best really time did. ever. We really did. And then we met for lunch, and we just worked it. We said, look, how can we collaborate? And I think that's what it should be. People can be competitive, but actually, two people from different backgrounds or in the same area like are better together. I think mm. so. We just kind of worked it out, and I said. Um, Lisa, I'd love you to produce, but also to co-host. How fabulous is she? She's absolutely amazing. And I just said, oh, she's too fantastic to have off camera. So that's where it all started. That I've seen a lot also. of your on your Instagram about like, you love getting it stuck in with the interior design. I love it. I love it. It's kind of an inbuilt passion that I've always had, but I never kind of had anywhere to put it. Yeah. And then I did a renovation and the, I didn't live in the house, but I, I renovated a kind of 1970s house and I thought I was only doing four things and I ended up doing 24 things. So we talked a lot about yeah. that as well on the podcast. Like, it was horrific. I hated it. <laughs> did you? I hated it, it's yeah. Hard, I yeah. was skint. I was broken down. I was exhausted. But actually, what came out of it was so amazing at the end of it. So it wasn't just interior design. Like, we knocked walls, down structural yeah, walls no, and everything like that. It, yeah. yeah, and I and, and I kind of was like, okay, well, you know, the four things turned into 24, but what I learned out of it over the nine, ten months that we did it was pure grit and determination. Yeah. And that's why I have to commend this woman. I mean, you've just spoken about obviously her being in the coma for, for that particular time and how she brings her tenacity. Like if if Natasha asks you to do something, you do it because she has such grace, but also such power in how she delivers things. And I think you know, all commends to Natasha. You know, brought the podcast out of nowhere and now we're in season two and we're doing real well. Well, Natasha, tell us about the podcast for people who might know. What is it about? So I think, it's, I suppose it's probably back to that ex um, experience. I think um, design is more about your lifestyle. It's not just trends and fashion. It's about who you are. It's about bringing out the happiness in your home or your commercial space. So the show is really about that. And it's looking back to our childhood homes for our guests and going, why are you the way you are? So if you're from a big family, as an example, yeah. usually you go, one way or the other, I believe, for in with my clients and the guests, is you either want a really bu busy house or a quiet house. So people kind of go, they repeat what they've known. And I love the psychology behind design. So basically, we've inter interviewed seven amazing guests. There's, an, there's Deirdre. Deirdre. She drops Deirdre. today. Yes. Actually, she's out now, yeah. wherever you get your podcast. Um, yes. Deirdre being our first guest. And basically, we asked her about her childhood home.
home and then her favorite spaces. And then she talked about renovations during lockdown and things like that. So it's, it's a combination between lifestyle and design, but why we love the spaces we love and kind of why we're influenced by that. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I, I have funny stories, you know, and obviously I'm only joking. It was great fun at the same time as it being horrific, you know, clearing out spiders, cement mm. up your nose, yeah. you know, all the things you don't think that are very unglamorous. And yeah. Natasha will always say that about interior design. Everyone thinks it's just fabrics and floating around. There's a lot more to it. But Deirdre O'Kane opened up about that. She was like, oh my God, I didn't know what to do at my house. I just lived off data rails. She loved that. Hugh Wallace came on, talked about, you know, everything to do with design and how he got his, his um, leg up, I suppose, into interior design. So everyone was great. Nikki Clark. Low. And each person had a different story, but everyone on the show had an experience with interiors, so it's not completely random. And it, it's called the Entertainment Series in honor of the Queen of Entertainment, <laughs> Lisa. So we we brought in, you know, it, obviously people in entertainment, but it is it's a really good mix. And then there's a sense of family, like Blona yeah. Tracy brought her. Actually, she's brought her daughter, so yeah, we we're the nice first people to baby. ever have a baby on a oh, podcast. Yeah. yeah, so it's a really yeah. And then obviously Sean and Sanjay, amazing. You know, just literally every guest mm -hmm. and Brenda Courtney, who's just yeah, he nearly really brought his dog, he nearly brought his dog. What's lovely about it, isn't it? It's kind of relaxed. Yeah, you know, we relaxed. shot it in the Devlin, it's quite cinematic, you yes. know, we kind of brought that it's element beautiful. to it. Um, yes. Yeah, I, want, I wanted it to be cinematic from that element mm. of entertainment and I executive produced it. So the, so the whole idea was that we would bring great names, you know, personalities to the table, but also showcase what they do in their homes yeah. and how they live in their own space. Yeah, and now you're used to interviewing people over the years, Lisa. I have to ask you about when you interviewed Beyonce. Oh right! What yeah. was that like? Everybody loves that one, don't they? <laughs> I think that I think the lovely part about the story is that my father was there. That's the best bit about it because we were on holiday myself and my dad, and we were just chilling out, you know, and having a nice time in New York, off to see the Met or whatever we were doing. And then my producer at the time, Debbie you know, O'Donnell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's name check Debbie. <laughs> of course, Debbie, she's a brilliant producer. Of course, rang me and was like. You're in New York, Beyonce's in New York, let's make this happen. So of course it was for Expose at the time. And I didn't even, but I, could, I couldn't even get her off the phone because I was like, yes, 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 of course. Why wouldn't you? So drag dad to Macy's. Dad had his camera because he was an amateur photographer. Yeah. So there he was in the pit taking all the photographs of Beyonce when she was posing. And um, it was a phenomenal experience. You know, I only was meant to get four minutes and I got 14. Oh my God. We grey crack. And of course, dad was chatting up the PR woman. So that was great. He distracted her. So we'd well, load so the time. You getting the rap. No, get no, the no stage, rap. You know? And it was just great. She talked about Dublin and everything. And my dad was like, oh, you stand there, Beyonce, oh. and get a few pics. Oh, my so goodness. she did. She obliged for my dad. She thought he was lovely. What so a wingman. I'm oh, telling you. Thanks, and dad. I suppose, like, Natasha, when we're talking about interior design, I think you, were, you mentioned lockdown there. I think we all tried something during lockdown. Absolutely. And I think it resonates with everybody now because during lockdown, we tried something. Yeah. And I also think it was a really great time. I know besides the fact that lockdown was, you know, a really yeah, hard time yeah, for everyone. Perfect. But actually, I think people realised, A, that, you know, you can do, it, but B, it's hard. And mm. I think that's what you said. It's like everyone can do it, and I'm very much for it. And I'm like encourage people, I have a book out at the moment, which encourages people like to do their own DIY, but do be practical. Like you, you say, like it does cost money. I'm it is hard. Like, but did loads. you do anything yourself? Either of you? Did you we do? tried, yeah. yeah. What I did yeah. you do? Small, it's just small success. things. It was, it was more clearing and stuff like yeah, that. But that's, but that's good mentally because really I loved good. it. And, and I loved when the place was clear and I just had a whole different sense of the house and everything like that. It's really good. Um, and I also think I'm very much into sustainable design and clearing things out. And because actually cleaning and clearing, I always say is my first tip, you know, because actually, you can't get that's your head around start. it. Yeah. And then course, some people then yeah. completely go to and do everything new and that's mm. not necessary either. So I'm very much about mix and match. Well, I love it. So you can find out all about this Space to Grow and it's uh, season two of the podcast, as you say, on wherever you find your podcast, wherever Space you to Grow. Natasha Rocker Divine and Lisa Cannon, thank you so Thanks, much ladies. for joining us. Thank, thank you. Good morning. Thank you. A pleasure. Now, still to come, we're so looking forward to this. PR guru Terry Prone talks career highlights, including working for Gay Byrne, as detailed in her new memoir. Yeah, we'll see you in a few minutes.